Jackson Radio Show. There are currently illegal aliens with final orders of removal in our country, but there are only 6,000 deportation officers to remove them. When you have finite resources, you have to prioritize, and criminal aliens remain a key priority for this administration in terms of removal. Criminal aliens have already shown disregard for our laws. Those are the people we're focused on. Those are our priorities for removal. But as our ICE officers do their job and pursue these released criminal aliens, it forces them out into the communities where there is an increased chance our law enforcement officers will encounter other immigration offenders who are subject to arrest. Because these officers have taken an oath to uphold the law, under this administration they will no longer look the other way and these individuals may end up being detained and removed welcome back everybody kevin jackson there's our new that was our new dhs director and she's making no bones about it we're going after illegals and in fact jeff sessions this went pretty much unheralded earlier late last year he took down 3800 ms13 and 18th street gang members in the united states and central america it was a coordinated law enforcement effort that they called Operation Regional Shield. Did you guys hear about this? It was so cool. 3,800 gang members got I mean, cleared off the streets. This was huge. 3,800 people charged. 70 individuals in America, in California, Maryland, Massachusetts, New York, Ohio, and Virginia. Law enforcement seized six firearms, charged... 284 gang members in Guatemala seized 14 businesses and 11 luxury vehicles, arrested 12 MS-13 money launderers in Honduras, filed 3,477 criminal charges resulting in more than 1,400 arrests in El Salvador. And there's no sense in walking you through all the people that were taken down. But just to tell you that Donald Trump is serious about this and he's doing this in conjunction with other nations who see the problem here. He didn't make uh, just the United States safer. He's making the world safer. And while he's doing it, I want you to understand what's happening with these hypocrites on the left. They're complaining. They're complaining. He's taking Mexicans and people off the street, Latinos. He doesn't like Latinos. No, he doesn't like Latinos who are menacing American citizens. Nor does he like where the Latinos are starting their whole trade. And what does he do? Yeah, he's getting them off the street. But you know what he's really doing that's that's very good? And there's no mystery here, folks. He's hitting them where it hurts, at the money source. At the money source. I don't know how President Trump in the long term is going to deal with all these various issues. I know they were, they just recently said they're going to crack down on uh, marijuana. Do I think that, I think that's sort of a waste of time for him, to be honest with you. I think marijuana should be like cigarettes. They should be like liquor. Regulate it and get out of its way. Do the same thing you do with DUI, do you know, which I, I think they do with that in that regard. No distribution, but you won't need it. People can buy the cigarettes. In fact, marijuana will become cheap. It will. It'll be I'm mean, in fact I I'm I i do not smoke marijuana or cigarettes. Am I right when I say marijuana may very well be cheaper than cigarettes now? Who knows? I want to move on and continue on this border theme. Because Nancy Pelosi may be the dumbest politician ever. She actually said this. She said this a while back, but I didn't get to the story, but I want to get to it because we're talking about the border and we're talking about hypocrisy. See, there's no reason for us not to have a wall. We posted a video of a wall that I think is being proposed by Trump. This thing is a thing of beauty. You got to go to the website and see this. It self cleans the solar panels that are going to be on it. And the solar panels will generate electricity for the border cities that are there. It's got something for the green weenies. I love that. It's a car that moves along like a, it, it's like Jurassic park. If you say, you know, it's got these, uh, these uh, Disney, you know, that, that, uh, monorail, it's got like a monorail and it, and that's how the security goes through and looks at the gate 
and all that. It's got an X construction. So it goes under the ground like 20 or 30 feet and it's like 30 feet high. It has this monorail system and can be monitored. Any break in the track is known immediately and can be dealt with. It's crazy good. It's crazy cool. So go look at the video and you'll see this. But here's what I was what I said about it. It is so cool. It'll probably spark tourism. Now, think about this. When have you ever heard anybody complain about the Great Wall of China? How many people scale the Great Wall of China in order to get in? Not very many. Now, you could argue, well, Kevin, it's not like it butts up against Mexico, the southern border of North America, you know, for, of America. No, it doesn't. But there are people that could theoretically want to get over it. The wall was built to keep people from getting over it. It can be seen from outer space. It's a big wall. Google it. Google the Great Wall of China. You know what will come up? Tourism. Hey, if you want to see the Great Wall of China, come see the Great Wall of China. The Great Wall of China. While you're there, you should see the Great Wall of China. So it's this beautiful, you know, the, I think they call it a batment, you know, to keep people out and borders the, yeah, you know, it's thousands of miles long. And I was looking at what they were proposing for this. And I was thinking I would ride in a monorail system on that wall. I absolutely would do it. It, it is so cool what they're proposing. And, the um, you know, again, forget the amount of people that are going to work on this wall. It's going to be thousands and they're going to be working on it for a period of years as they build it out. And with Trump, it'll build quickly. But it will become a tourist thing. I want you to think about this wall. In, in thousands of years from now, people are still going the Great Wall of, of the United States. Now, the only reason why I'm bringing it up in this context is nobody complains about the Great Wall of China. I, I looked for negative. The Great Wall of China, it's racist. If you, if you want that wall, it's xenophobic. I don't care. Whatever leftist that's gone to China... They, if you'd be crazy not to say, well, is you know, is it possible for us to go see the Great Wall? It's one of those things you want to see. Why can't they say that about our wall? What makes our wall different? I'm just curious. Yeah, you see, you guys don't even have an answer. I'm talking about my my producers, but I bet you neither do you listening to the program. You don't have an answer because there is no answer. We can build whatever wall we choose to build, and this wall is magnificent. And not only is it magnificent, unlike the Great Wall of China, it's high tech. You can see how it operates. You could, why, you could, they could, you could do a reality show just based on that. But here's the other thing: it's got, it's going to power cities next to it. We could theoretically say, you know, what we'll do Mexico. We'll power your cities for you. We'll use this electricity. Maybe that helps you out in some way. We want to see Mexico's economy flourish. We want to see it flourish with their people staying on their side. If you want to come over, visit, go home, but come over legally. It's not that difficult thing. But Pelosi said that if we build this wall, it's a sign of weakness. Yeah. But she voted for a border wall in 2006. But now she calls the border wall immoral, expensive, and unwise. Why? Immoral like the gated community that she lives in? Expensive what? Like the cost of illegal immigration with estimates as much as $113 billion a year? Estimates to build a wall, 12 to $15 billion. And of course, we know Mexico is going to pay for it. So what do we care what it costs? But Mexico can know this. This is a good thing for them. Donald Trump will get the wall built on time and probably under budget, so we'll save them some money. Anyway, this wall is needed. And for Nancy Pelosi to imply that it's a sign of weakness is yet another hypocrisy. The only, bolstered only, I should say, su- su- surpassed only by her hypocrisy of having voted for a border wall already. If you don't think these people pay, play partisan politics, you're completely, you're insane. And the sad thing is this, 
It isn't like we don't have enough examples of illegals coming into this country and doing the wrong thing. And by the way, they cook the books on illegals and the crime. They, they claim, oh, illegals, they do as much crime as your average American citizen, which, by the way, is still too much. But it turns out they do a lot more crime than the average American citizen. That Those statistics were completely bogus. Yet again, more hypocrisy. The left is never going to give you the straight scoop because if they give you all the information, you will not follow them. You won't believe anything that they say. That's why I don't trust them. Short break. Kevin Jackson on the Black Sphere Radio Network. Do you owe back taxes to the IRS or state? The secret to avoiding the IRS nightmare is to seek professional representation. My friends at Security Tax Associates provide the most cost-effective and ethical representation in the industry while helping to avoid seizures, levies, and wage garnishments. Security Tax Associates is here to ensure that the appropriate steps are taken to permanently eliminate any possibility of future tax burdens once and for all. For a free, no-obligation consultation, contact Security Tax Associates, 844-779-4177. That's 844-779-4177. 844-779-4177. Or visit them at securitytaxassociates.com. 